Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name's Edward and I hope you've all been keeping safe during these strange times. Uh, today I wanted to talk a bit about how to use Notion uh, for note taking at uni or school. In this video I'll guide you through some of the fundamental features available in Notion that will help you maximise your note taking ability. So now I'll walk you through an easy system to set up your Notion. So it's as easy as creating a new page and it might be in your private or your workspace it doesn't really matter and here you can enter the title of your page such as you know heart failure you can customize your page by adding icons so here I might select the little heart and you can also add a cover photo and then I might change this to something relevant so maybe I'll look for a heart So some features on the page, you can share the page um, if you want to publish it online or show it to your friends. Uh, you can favorite it, so if I click favorite here, you'll see that the page is now turned up in this corner. And um, a couple other options as well. In terms of um, starting a new page, there are a few things you can do. You can start typing straight away, like so, heart failure. Um, you can also use a couple options, so templates, and here in the templates it's a quick and easy way to uh, get started and get some inspiration on how you want to have your pages. So here you can see uh, the class notes one which is a bit similar to what we're going to go through today. Uh, some other options is the Corneal note system which some people like to use um, and there's an option to do that. And then if you click full template gallery as well what you can also do is um, have a look at what other people are doing. Let me just grab that up. It's a bit slow on my computer, but it will load some of the Notion made templates that you can have a look at, as well as some templates that were made by other users. So this is always a good source for inspiration, and if you just want to pick up an idea or two, and then you can you know add it to your repertoire as well. My computer's a bit slow. But yeah, as you can see, here's some options and some things that you could potentially use yourself. But I, I think you have a look at it in your own time. Okay, in terms of starting a page, if you use the forward slash on your keyboard, like this, you can actually have a look at the different some of the different options that you can add in. Um, for instance, headings what I use. I might have a title and then you can start typing your notes here. There's also bullet points. So you can have a list, you know, one, two, three. You can also create it by using the dash, which will create a new list. You can also use the checkbox option with the to-do list, checkbox or to-do, and then you can add um, it this way as well. So, you know, heart, lungs, whatnot and then you can tick them off as you go along and an easy way to format things is you can highlight and turn everything into a particular thing so I can turn these all to to-do list and then I can click them all click them off you can move your notes around so I can insert them between list 1 and 2 here and so on so that's just the basic way to utilize a page you can also create pages within a page, so you might have another page here, and then inside that page you might have, you know, management of heart failure. You know, give this an icon as well, and then if I go back to the heart failure, you can see it's a page here. One of my favourite features is a toggle feature, which, slash toggle, um, you can create the questions, you know, what are the types of heart failure? and then have other questions and so on. If you want to um, go straight into it, you can hold down the command and then press enter. And then that has the empty toggle. And then if you press enter again, it will type right in there. So, you know, hef, 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 ref, oops. And then when you open and close it, it will be there. Okay, and that's just the basic outline. Now I'll show you how I like to have my notes. So I'm pretty simple, I use the breadcrumb feature to show where exactly in my notes I am. And then 
I'll add headings. So the first one is the topic, second one is a summary, and the third one I usually have additional resources. So here in the topic I like to use a toggle, and then I might have what oops, are the clinical features of heart failure, etc. I might how do you manage heart failure and it has those inside my notes. Often I use a summary, I'll put some bullet points that I think are important um, and then what I'll also use is something called the call out and usually I just put this for the important things so you know check the JVP or something and that's how I like to have my notes and in terms of additional resources you know you can copy over some resources like if you want to have a video put in you can embed videos and you can even play them directly from here if once this loads through and you can also attach links to different sources as well so I might have a link to this which might have some more information and then I can create a bookmark or even just attach the URL straight away like that and that's a basic layout of a page you know, this is all I use myself. I just want to emphasize that there's a lot more that you can do, um, but you don't have to use everything, you know, just find what you like and adjust from there. Now, in order to organize my notes, I like to use the inline tables. So I just created a new page here, and then database tables. You can also create the same feature if I show you on a new page. If you have your empty note, you can slash table and have it in line same thing but on the table I might have you know this might be my cardiology notes and then I think the table is a great way to show the information as well as put some nice metadata so if I drag this into my note it will attach it here this is a multi select so you can add your own tags so let's say this is you know clinical knowledge, you can have anatomy, you might have physiology, and then put it as I need for each particular note. You, know, you can attach you can attach the files right here, and then you can either upload it or it just attach the link. And then here you can add more columns by pressing the plus sign, and then you can choose what you want to add. You can just add some straight text, you can add some numbers, so let's say I wanted to say the difficulty and this might be good for your revision so you might say you know I'm having out of 10 I'm difficulty is 10 out of 10 I had some other pages as well you know I could have STEMI so just more note pages these might be clinical let's say this one's anatomy or something like that difficulty is 5 and this difficulty is 7 I'll also add um, checkboxes personally. So I use this to mark whether or not I've started to make Anki cards for this or not. So I might tick it or not. You can also use the tags, so the multi select as well, or just single select option to, you know, progress. And then started, completed, and so on. And as you can see, if you open this page, the breadcrumb will also automatically update with where the location of that page is, and you'll see the tags that we added. Now one of the most powerful tools about using the inline tables is you can filter and you can sort your tables. So if you looked at earlier, where we had the difficulty, I might just drag that over here, and you can see 10, 5, 7, you can sort them by the difficulty and then see now it's sorted by difficulty if you want it most difficult you can sort it like that and then you can you know slowly revise the first one and then go through until they're all reasonably easy to go through forgot to add you can also add a date and the date column you might use as when to next review so next review and then select you know the 28th 
I might review this on the 29th and you can also sort so instead of the difficulty I might sort by next review and descending and the ones that don't have it will be at the bottom you can also if I leave this I can filter add a filter so you know if it's Anki is ticked or not I can select the ones that are based on the tags so if it contains clinical then it will only show the clinical ones and I can even use um, progress you know, the ones that have been completed and show my notes that have been completed and this is an easy way to just organize and go through your notes and a really awesome thing that you can do in Anki, I'll just take these filters off so you can create your own templates so we can create a template just like before let's say it's a new note for medical school I personally just have a breadcrumb as we have earlier uh, topic summary additional additional resources oops um, I might have the toggles and then have the call out and that's my how I like to have my notes and I might even select um, a progress that's just started. So now that's my template done. And if you see here, this new note is here. If you want an empty page, you can select empty page. If you want a new note, you can just click that. And look, see, the progress is started. I've got the breadcrumb and then I've got my layout for my page. So then you can create multiple templates if you want. So you can add more, but personally, I just use the one. And then finally, I think the craziest thing is you can have, you know, templates of templates. So let's say this was my medical school notes, medical school notes. And then I might drag this table into it. So I have my cardiology notes here. Actually, what I'll do is I'll, I'll leave this. What you can do is you can right click and duplicate. So you have a copy of the exact same note. And I might have this as having all my medical school notes and then I want my cardiology notes inside and my other notes inside and things like that. So if you look at this copy of cardiology notes, what I can do is I can delete all the pages, um, topic notes, and then what I'll do is I'll drag that into my medical school notes so it's right here. Now if you use the forward slash again, you can see template. And then this lets you add a new template. So I might call it add a new topic table. And then here you can put in what you want it to do. So I can actually just drag this topic note straight in here. And then close it. So it has add a new topic table. And look, when I click this, it will create a new topic note which is, has the exact same columns that I had before it has my template already in place and then all my tags are the same as well and this is a great way if you have you know subjects that are quite similar and you have the same layout you want to use the same workflow or something like that and I'll even show you my notes so just here is my medical school notes I have the same layout. So if I create a new topic, these are all the same way, made the same way, sorry. You can see my new page. And it looks like that breadcrumb, topic, summary, additional reading. And that's pretty much it, you know. There's a lot that you can do with Notion, um, obviously. But I think what you need to make sure is that you don't get overwhelmed and you just start small, see what you like and don't like, and then go from there. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment below. And for those who made it through the entire video, thank you very much for watching and I hope you learned something today. If you are interested in more content, uh, please feel free to subscribe and give this video a like and leave a comment below if there's anything else that you want me to go through next time. So stay safe, 
and happy studying.